Simone and Jonathan, you're, I just, when I was watching this, I was like, too cute. It's not even fair to the rest of America, okay? But we're really happy for you. Simone, did you know, did you see this coming? I thought it might happen this year, but definitely not on Valentine's Day. So that's why it was such a shock. Um, the way he set up everything was just so seamless and it was just a normal Valentine's Day for us at least. So Jonathan, you think that Simone had no clue that this yeah. was coming. It sounds like you're, you're right about that. So tell me about the story from your side of it. How much planning went into it? Did you talk to her dad beforehand, the whole deal? <laughs> um, so it was a lot of planning. Um, it probably took about two and a half months. Wow. Um, I kind of started talking to the jeweler in um, early December, just getting everything, you know, situated. And my cousin, he helped a lot, um, just kind of doing stuff for me when I'm, you know, busy and uh, called the restaurant and, you know, set everything up and got the photographer set up for me. So, but she really had no clue. She just, you know thought it was a normal day so well you know uh t i know uh i know simone's mom and dad very well and love them very well so i wonder you you had to talk to her dad and what does nelly think it's very important this definitely definitely um talk to him uh it was a, i was a little nervous at first uh oh. and for the longest simone was sitting right next to us so i couldn't really say what i wanted and then she left so i was like okay i got, <laughs> <laughs> Finally got the cue uh simone so, um, <laughs> Okay, so um, I just have to ask. I'm sorry. The, you have so much gold, Simone. The ring that you have now, <laughs> does it does it match all of the hardware that you have? The gold, the silver, is it, does it clash? How does it fit in your? Yeah. Your, okay. Um, it's definitely my most prized possession now, oh. and I'm always wearing it. I had to wash my hair the other day, and I took it off just in case I didn't know if it was supposed going to get caught or anything. And I have to ask my mom, like, when do you take it off? Do you ever take it off and stuff like that? But it definitely beats a gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. So, guys, what, uh, now that you're engaged, have you taken the next steps or started the planning already or dates or anything yeah. like that? Yeah, so um, we literally came back from a red eye from Vegas, did the engagement the 14th, and then I flew out, so I didn't get to see him for three days, so I just got back yesterday. Um, so we kind of started planning a little bit over the phone, but um, I'm sure we'll do a lot of that today. But we have a couple of specs that we know, uh -huh. um, but it's still in the process. Simone, um, some people are looking at this beautiful relationship and wondering how did they first meet? And some, mm -hmm. some believe in love at first sight. Some say it takes time. How was it for you guys? How did you first meet? And were you one of those girls who just knew? Yes, so it was like Instagram relationship and stuff like that, you know, the DMs, whatever. He loves when I say that. Um, I'm not saying it anymore because we're engaged, but um, I feel like it was, and we clicked really, really well in the beginning because we're athletes and we have the same busy schedules. But other than that, since it was kind of a COVID relationship, we were with each other 24 7. So I feel like now when we're not with each other, it's almost weird and like we're always texting or calling each other. It's like kind of gross in a way, but I mean, it's <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> it's not gross. It's it's not, really don't worry, Simone, that won't last very long. It's to the honeymoon phase. Um, what about you, Jonathan? When did you fall for Simone? Um, honestly, probably about the, the about a month in when we were really kind of hanging out and we were really every weekend and my dog really loved her and you know he would, he would kind of i could see his face like whenever i would pick my book bag up in my apartment he would think we're leaving to go to her place so he sprint to the front door you know to, and i'm like oh you really like her huh and um you know we just kind of started hanging out more and more and um you know you start to want to see a person instead of just being like oh we're going to see on the weekends mm -hmm. i, I kind of started mm -hmm. wanting to see her more you know and and then he stopped leaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Well, you know, Jonathan, we treasure this woman on your shoulder, and we love her so mm -hmm. much, and we're, we're glad she's in such good hands. Simone, uh, before we, we wrap up here, we had a chance to talk to Michaela Schifrin earlier today. And mm -hmm. let me tell you something. She is strong as steel. And right. you, you had actually spoken on her Instagram page, and she was writing about the haters, and you were just basically telling her to keep her back straight. Um, mm -hmm. tell, tell me about the advice you've been giving her and where you think she is right now. Yeah, honestly, 
you can't judge somebody's mental health through a platform so i hope she's doing okay but it's nice that she's giving an insight on exactly how she's feeling still rooting on her teammates because it's a really tough place especially during a pandemic you're going to compete at the olympics and america is kind of like gold medal or bust and so that puts a lot of pressure on ourselves but we also put a lot of pressure on ourselves already because it's the pinnacle of our career so we want to do our best so whenever we don't it's like it's kind of a punch in the throat to us, but then we have all of America kind of like, oh my gosh, you're a failure. But at the end of the day, you have to realize you're still one of the best athletes on the planet and you're at the Olympics. Like how many people get to go to the Olympics and what are you guys doing? You're watching on the couch. So it's like really <laughs> hard. So, I mean, I love Michaela Schifrin and I hope that she just embraces the Olympic experience because we don't know how many we'll be able to go to. And by the way, after you cheered her on on Instagram, you know what she wrote back to yeah. you? She wrote back, enough <laughs> about that. Let's talk about the ring. <laughs> so oh, she, she, I love her. Oh, she loves you back. You guys, yeah. Simone, Jonathan, we are so happy for you. Thank you for sharing this beautiful part of your lives with That's us. Right. A lot of fun. Thank Congratulations, you. Congrats, guys. Congrats, guys. And have a great Thank year, you. Jonathan. Go Texans, buddy. Congrats on the new coach, <laughs> Lonnie Smith, yes, man. Go get him. Appreciate it. You got it. Take All right, care. bye, guys. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.